sternoclavicular joint injuries. The sternoclavicular joint is composed of the proximal end of the clavicle and the manubrium of the sternum. Sternoclavicular joint injuries are uncommon shoulder injuries. In young patients, the injury is usually physial injury. Medial clavicle physial fracture occurs in a patient less than 20 years old. The epiphysis ossifies at the age of 18 and closes between 20 to 25 years old. Try to differentiate medial clavicle physial fracture from traumatic dislocation. Anterior dislocation is more common than posterior dislocation. The AP X-ray is difficult to interpret, and they have what you call serendipity view, which is 40-degree cephalic tilt view with the beam focused on the manubrium, and you compare both clavicles. It allows identification of the anterior or posterior translation. In practice, clinically, the anterior dislocation will be very obvious, and the posterior dislocation will not be obvious, but the patient will have pain, and you order a CT scan. CT scan is the best study to evaluate acute traumatic injuries of the sternoclavicular joint. It helps to see the injury, what type of injury or dislocation, is it anterior or posterior, is it physial injury, or is it true dislocation, and what is the status of the mediastinal structures. Anterior dislocation is common, patient will have pain, a bump, or a swelling, and increase by abduction of the arm. That injury is unstable if you reduce it, but it is benign, and if it is acute, try to reduce it, otherwise accept the deformity. Observe the patient and treat the patient symptomatically. The anterior sternoclavicular dislocation is rarely symptomatic when left unreduced. Most of the time, the patient will do very well. It will not affect function or range of motion. If the injury is chronic and symptomatic, then you will do surgery. What kind of surgery? Probably resection of the medial part of the clavicle. Only resect less than 15 mm of the medial clavicle. Don't go beyond or disrupt the costoclavicular ligament. And you do soft tissue stabilization of the residual medial clavicle with costoclavicular ligament reconstruction. Reconstruction of the sternoclavicular joint utilizing tendon graft. Allograft or autograft can be used. The hamstring tendon technique is popular and the figure 8 technique is commonly used because it provides great stability. The posterior sternoclavicular dislocation is less common. It is a true orthopedic emergency. One third of them may have compressive effect by exhibiting pressure on the great vessels, on the esophagus, or on the trachea. It may cause dyspnea, tachypnea, dysphagia, and parathesia, and it needs reduction. It has minimal visible clinical findings. Sometimes the affected shoulder is shortened with forward thrust. If you're going to do a reduction, it will be stable after reduction. You will have general anesthesia with thoracic surgeon backup. You start with close reduction with the hand or with a towel clip and lift the clavicle up. 
When you do close reduction, the initial position for the extremity is the same in anterior and posterior dislocation. You will have general anesthesia and you will do abduction and extension of the shoulder. For the posterior, you will do abduction and extension. You will have a bump underneath the medial scapula. You're going to manipulate the medial clavicle with a towel clip or with the fingers and lift it up and reduce the joint. It's usually stable, so you give the patient a sling for three to four weeks. For the anterior, you will do direct pressure. And if the reduction is stable, you will do figure eight or a sling, and you do therapy at three to four weeks. If the posterior dislocation is unstable or irreducible, you will do reduction or excision of the medial clavicle plus stabilization of the soft tissue. If it is chronic, recurrent, or symptomatic, you will do excision of the medial clavicle plus soft tissue stabilization. And don't try to do close reduction in late or chronic cases because there is mediastinal adhesions and they may cause problem inside the chest. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.